23. Oh, I did load that save, so let's put another completion on the 23 file. I can't believe I'm already 23 in. That's nuts. It took me so long to get 100, and I'm already a quarter of the way to 100 on the Japanese version. That took no time at all. Turns out streaming Luigi's Mansion for like a week and a half straight will do that. Alrighty. Did I skip any splits here? One. Just one. Three, two, one, go! No practice. Only runs. Alright, Luigi, this is the time to celebrate. Victory lap. You're in you're entitled to chaos this time. So like get weird with it. I wanna see some stuff happen that I've never seen before. I went back and deleted a bunch of old crappy clips and saw some weird ones from Luigi's Mansion that I forgot about. <laughs> like Nana's yarn balls going insane. I also noticed a lot of people popped in the stream like after following and immediately like started watching that recent past broadcast. I don't know if they flooded into the clips too. They probably got a rude awakening with uh, over two year old clips. Not expecting what they heard there. Ah! Open. Says a Luigi. The early game has been more consistent. Darn it, I shouldn't have said that now. I just had to say it, didn't I? I immediately get punished for it. Now I'm paranoid. Never gloat. Never gloat. The game listens. in the chest, dude. I'm not on the splits. I clicked somewhere else. And it had to be on OBS because it's the only thing that eats the splits now. I could probably rig up a counter for that. That's any more interesting than just having the phrase. <laughs> now you tell me. I'm gonna try the thing over here. Come on, Luigi, you got this. Alright, don't mess up. 
I got this. Come on. Hey, we did it. Don't move. Do not move. I don't know if that's faster. It saves a surprising amount of time. The amount of time he holds you there, talking to you before you can move, is pretty wild. If you get the ball quickly. And you have a lot of time to get the ball, too. I was still a little slow there, but I wasn't too much slower. I think you took like two or three extra steps. Why couldn't I do that three days ago? <laughs> it's that easy. I technically got it. I got it. Day of. I had it the first try. And I just got dragged too much and he broke me off anyway. So like, in my mind, I know I got it, but in my heart, I know no one else will know that. I dropped a YouTube comment on the VOD <laughs> telling, uh, I should have mentioned it too, um, but I dropped a YouTube comment saying like, oh yeah, I didn't get it, oh, or like I only got half of it. That's what I said in the um, Luigi's Mansion Discord, is I got half of a Chauncey 1 cycle. I got the hard part. Yeah, it was sneaky. I felt like I got it, but like from a, um, from a viewing perspective, it's really hard to see if you don't know what to look for. I didn't- I don't think I pulled any extra health off either. So it really, really was not apparent. That was why I, like, threw my hands up in the air and everything, because I knew- I knew I was there. And I lost it for a silly reason. I still have yet to go back and listen to the VOD. Work has been insane. Hey Taylor. How you do? Thanks for showing up and saying hi. I'm doing well. A little stressed out today, but Luigi's gonna fix that. I've never been stressed once playing Luigi. Mm -mm. Oh, that's a hard one. Dang. They were really far away. It's fine. Missing the second guy is the best one. Got that new gold split here. Now I don't have to, like, complain about the dancers giving me bad luck. I got my gold split. I don't get to complain as badly. I'm still gonna complain. But at least I uh I got my my gold split I've been searching for. There's still another one there, but it's not nearly as important. Mario. I'm glad you enjoyed the run. Like I was saying, I haven't gone back to listen to it in full yet. I've seen snippets. <laughs> Like trying to get all my PVs I got in the uh, week of practice leading up to it uploaded to YouTube and I'm 
been watching them. Did I lose time there? No. Good. That felt like a good split. Oh, I got the big key hung up too. It's over there. There. It, it, yeah, right here. I wish I had that. So bad after the run because I wanted to hold it up. And do like the peace sign like Luigi does every time he picks up a key. That would have been perfect. But in other news, the person on Etsy I got that from said, uh, I suggested that they uh, like make 3D models and print. I print them out for the other keys in the game, like the four area keys, because I was like, oh, I'd have the whole set if they did that. So then, like, they said they took recommendations. So I'm like, y'all should think about that. And they said, guess what? We're already doing it. So in a couple weeks, I might have to, uh, Scrape the bottom of my wallet and see if I can afford all four. You were in the best spot you could have been in, and then you moved. Jerk boo. Devin Townsend, oh. You're speaking my language. I love Devin Townsend. You. Boos are annoying today. I own like 75% of his albums, I'm th I think. Mario. I take, I take, you went to the last FM profile. He's gotta be like number two at this point overall but it's split between like three artists in that system so it doesn't look like it he's still pretty far up there oh god stay stay oh god mini heart attack i survived we're okay i loved light work the one that just came out Excellent album. Oh, it's it's so worth it. He's such a good um he'll he'll get up on stage if you haven't seen him before and say like how nervous he is and everything, but he, he always puts out a good show. I've seen several videos and seen him myself once, and it's great. He did put on a tutu and uh, dance with a stuffed octopus. I saw him for the empath tour, so it was a mixture of things. He's got so much music. I'm trying to think of stuff I recognize the most. I honestly have to look up the set list because I don't remember. It's been a while. It was like one of the last concerts that they did right before quarantine hit. Oh god, I almost messed that up. I thought I liked Empath like a bunch until Lightwork came out, and honestly I like Lightwork, like, yeah, Lightwork more. Doggone the booze, dude. That guy was in the perfect spot too. Is he on the left? Okay. 
fakes on the left, though. At least he, like, went the right way over there. Perfect. No, Angie twice. Got another chance. No, I don't need to go in there. Don't go in there, Luigi. Honestly, if I had to, like, put my, uh... If I had to, like, say what my favorite Devin Townsend album was... Angie? Yeah! Best spot for Angie. I would have to say it's honestly the, um, like, new age slash country slash whatever the heck you want to call it thing he did called Casualties of Cool. I love that album. Both, both, um, both CDs. The bonus CD is just as good. And it's not on Spotify and I can't show it to anybody and it hurts my heart. That's a good name for it. It gets like a little bit demented at the end. But it's like, it's chill enough to show my parents and stuff. Which is cool, because a lot of his stuff isn't. Ghost is also really, really good, but I prefer casualties. The man makes me want to be a Canadian. <laughs> yeah, I showed, uh, showed... Oh my goodness, the booze, dude! Showed my wife addicted, uh, like, January, I think it was the first time. No, I messed up. I'm gonna have to uh, hit that missile. I mean the move. I love Addicted too. It's bouncy. Okay, good. I didn't find that. Doing a lot of stuff out of order here. I think it's on the uh, the top one that I'm standing next to right now. Nope, it is this one. Mario. I've been meaning to make a music. Channel in the Discord. They don't want to like. Where the frick is this thing? Oh, that sucks. All right, let's go get get money. It was over here. I thought I stood long enough. I get it. Come on, Luigi. Where is it, dude? <laughs> I could not shake whatever it was. All right. Well, this split's not going to be great. That usually doesn't happen that bad. I must have been in, like, the mop or something. I've been meaning to make a music channel in the Discord. Uh, I've mostly kept, like, music stuff on whatever Twitter-like thing I've been using. Because I feel like engagement there would be just better. It feels more like... If someone wants to see it, it's easier to see there. And especially when you talk about music, I mostly want the people who make the music to see it. Like when somebody says, oh, we're releasing a new album, I don't want to just like 
go scream it everywhere. It's mostly like I want to express interest to the people making the music. So. But still, if I find something cool, I feel like I could also have a channel for it in the Discord. I got stuck in the wall. And the boo is in a terrible spot here, because of course it is. All the way across the room, dude. Oh my god. Both of them. This is unreal. I think I have second tried every boo except the one in the ballroom. So, like, out of fire. Well, this split is garbage. But that's why we hit the Chauncey thing. Let go of the table, Luigi. You don't need that. I still didn't nail that guy. That guy is, like, spawned so late. Oh, don't get that. I almost did the same thing I did in the marathon. <laughs> I wasted so much time over there. Oh, I can't. I have to pull this. And everything out of order. Okay, I'm gonna go get him now. Don't lose him. Okay. Really wanted to be careful. Because of how it turned out to start. It's in the fridge, dude. Yet another second try boo. That's all the boos for this area, though. No more. I had to swap to my thumb there. Cause my, uh, or sorry, my I had to swap to my pointer finger because my thumb fell off the stick. All right, the PB not have a good. Double here. I've gotten so much better at this double. I labbed it out and a couple other ones like that. That are just basically free time save at this point. And I can one cycle the breaker boo. If I gold the third floor or the seal room split later, and I one cycle the breaker boo, some of best is plummeting below 12 minutes. It's gonna be like 11.45 at minimum if I get a really good one of those splits with the breaker boo because it affects both of them. I think he did play Kingdom for our, our, our concert. I saw him in Houston. Stay with me, Blogmire. Come on, buddy. There we go. Red splits are back. Hmm? 
I despise Houston. I've only been twice, but I have nothing good to say. Other than the fact that they had good music. Cause I had to drive for hours to get there. Hyperdrive, March of the Poozers, E.A. Mm, great song. Uh, some jam. Forgive me from Casualties of Cool. He played Deadhead? I think well, maybe he did. Ah, uh, my menuing is terrible. Genesis, Super Crush, he played Love. Strapping on Lad. Oh yeah, Y, I forgot that. I love Y. That was the one where he put on the tutu. And uh, he encored with Kingdom. Which is a great encore song. Houston is just all sprawl. There's nothing that isn't suburb. It hurts. The greater Houston area. I went into the, I went into the city, um, a little bit. I was uh, like I parked right next to. Was it the Astros? I think it was their stadium. Walked to where? Yeah, Minute Maid Stadium, and then I walked to where the venue was from there. But, like, the 45 minutes or longer it took me to get there through what felt like Houston was entirely too long. I had to make, like, three turns just to get into the shopping center I wanted to go. I don't know where I was. I didn't like it, though. Long way around. Oh, boy. All right, we're off script. And I got bonked. All right, buddy. I'm gonna pull you over here so I can run on the treadmill. And he's pulling me the other way. And the boo is, of course, not over here because why would it be? Oh, now it is. I might leave. Barely. I remember I was trying to get into a Fry's computing center before the concert just to go see what it was about because I'd never been to one before. And that was like right after or right before they just completely dissolved and declared bankruptcy. And it was like going into a radio shack that hadn't seen business since the 80s. It was depressing. Like a Best Buy that didn't have anything in it. It made me sad. So I was trying to look for like computing peripheral, eh, peripherals. And they had nothing. They had, like, hobbyist wires and basically nothing that Radio Shack wouldn't have, but less of it, which is even worse. 
because it was the size of a Walmart. I gotta go find a micro center before they shut down too. Like the nerd in me needs to do that before that dies too. Because one of my, I wouldn't call him a professor. He was, he was a, uh, a systems administrator in, ow, my university. Like loved going to stores like that because he was like a hobbyist tinkerer kind of guy. And I always wanted to go because I heard nothing but good stuff about what they had. And then they really went downhill right when I got a chance. Of course he's not in there. Don't you move on the right. In the table. <laughs> Not bad. One other thing that colored my trip to Houston for the worst was the entirety of I-10 that was like leading up to it for like the probably like an hour and a half was um, like under construction so it was no shoulder, one lane, horrible. No, it wasn't one lane, it was worse. It was two lanes with no shoulder. So it was right next to all of the 18 wheelers who were going 80. And I was just white knuckle at the middle of the night. Because I drove home the night after. So I got home at like 1 a.m. or something. Horrible. I told myself I would never make that drive again. That was good. Oh, he moved. He's right here. No, no Luigi the heart. Come on, dude. He almost let me down. Enjoy the lurk. Thanks for popping in. Making my day with Devin Townsend talk. Ah. Heck yeah! First angle every time. Almost gold. He has a Discord, by the way, if you didn't know. I don't actually know if he uses it, but community probably does. Alright, state of affairs, we're back in the green. Headed downstairs to see Slim. Which means we're probably not going to be in the green long. There's 36 seconds to save here, though, so you know, never know. We're less than two minutes behind some of best. Which is an improvement. Usually I'm two minutes behind at this point. But the Chauncey thing is keeping me afloat. Pretty sure I got this. Ooh. 
listening for the sound of it shaking is more reliable than trying to like figure out give me that here we go trying to figure out like visually where I am on the fan because it doesn't spin if you don't shake I think it's behind. I think it's on the dartboard, but I make sure it's not. Alright, whatever. I didn't mean to do any of the stuff I did. I did it intentionally, but like, I shouldn't have. Oh, the mashing is terrible. Like, I think I have the speed, I'm just like, not mashing correctly. It keeps pausing on certain pieces of dialogue where it shouldn't. I'm dropping Mario. something. Mm. Mario. Mm. Okay, something's in there. I think he just moved me there. I feel like I should have gotten punished for doing that, but Mario. didn't. Spinning that thing got so much easier when I started trying to spin it from exactly the left side. I was trying to do it diagonally for what feels like a year or more, and it never worked. Talked right over the best sound in the game. That is the wall, Luigi. Like, that was... Perfect spinning on that thing. I could have walked away and uh, been closer to the door after I was done, but excellent. Got all the money. That is not the door. Gambling. Did not pay off. Gamble did really did not pay off. Is it over here too? And that happens, dude. I didn't see a flash when I walked in, so my immediate thought is that the fake is down there. And I gambled that the real one would be somewhere else. Hmm. Oh. 
Oh, it's super lag, man. Okay. That, though. And we're out of here. Not saving 36 seconds, mostly because the booze were booty. But we're saving time. More green. I wish there was always someone I could throw to donations to at this part. That was the best thing where this wasn't the bo most boring part of the game. Because there was still commentary. I mean, I could just go backwards down the list and read off the old subs. <laughs> that are a month old. I should prep a story every time I get here. Oh no. Somehow didn't bump that guy. Got all the pearls too. I wasted all my stories before. Sometimes I can shake that for the money beforehand. Oh, yeah. Usually the boo's not in there, but I got to shake it right as the cutscene started, based on where I was standing. I think he's in the thing. Mario. Yep. China cabinet it is. Oh, quit with that double cackling stuff, dude. Okay, we got 300 at this point. That's pretty much as good as we're gonna get. There's not really much money for this. So that's good. Good number. Good shots. This is a really, really clean execution run so far. The Boo RNG has been atrocious. But... Except for, like, the back half of Area 2, it's honestly been great. That's not the door. It's like I was sloppy in Biff's, I was sloppy in the uh, tea room a little bit. I was sloppy most of Area two, like, the back half of Area 2, but everything else has been great. Did great on Nana's yarn balls, that usually doesn't go well. Didn't get the double in Astral Hall, but I did get the triple and found the boo pretty quick. Lots of other stuff too. I practiced the crap out of this room, so this is probably gonna go well. Three gold bar. Oh, I didn't catch him. Frick! I almost had him. I just wasn't moving forward. I couldn't move forward, I think, at the time, because he scared me or something. Hey, there's the first one. I guess I got the boo first try in Clear Boy's room and in dining room, too. I haven't gotten bad text. Which helps. Egad, don't give it to me now. No Van Gore text yet. Mario. 
I've wondered if I could augment the captions like vocabulary with specific words that I'm pretty sure it doesn't know. And say like if you if you get something that's like borderline, prefer this. So I don't get like it doesn't think I'm saying Bangor like the city in India or Bob Meyer or something. What is Chauncey? John C is uh is Chauncey's that sometimes comes up. It's funny. But when it's not funny, I kind of wish I could fix it. All the all the proper name stuff is is I think never going to stop being funny. All but one. If I can get them all here. Nope. Come on, buddy. Good. Two second gold. That wasn't even a clean Bulosis. It was a really good one, but it wasn't perfect. Power of that double in the safari room. Angie sponsored stream. Feeling, I have a good feeling about this room. A good one. Because I did no practice runs after I labbed stuff out. The only run I did after doing all that stuff... No, I did. I did two. Both of them were like PB worthy. I think. Yeah, because I did that in the middle of the day and then I streamed at the, at the end. Like, this is really still the start of all the runs that are incorporating all the practice stuff. better at picking up just the stuff I need to. That's just like an overall thing. Every single chest I get, I'm much more aware of how valuable the bills are. Before I was just like, I need stuff. And I would miss a whole lot of bills in favor of coins. But like I really prioritize them now and make sure that I try to get them all not waste any more time than I need to getting other stuff instead of like just swinging the vacuum around seeing what I get and hoping it's mostly good.
almost didn't go upstairs. I haven't messed that up in a while, but I catch myself more often than I'd like. Alrighty, buddy. He's a believer. Something's in the table. It's not real. Let's I'm attached! I'm attached! Twice in a row now. He double cackled too and I saved it. Mm. That feels so good to do. Practice this room too. See it pay off? Whoa, that guy warped. And it paid off. Whoa. And I squeaked down here too. Mmm. Practice is actually worth something? Dang, who would have known? Found these, this guy immediately, but he's gonna like fly all the way over the other side of the room. Thank you for charging me. Being patient on this guy honestly pays off. Not trying to immediately suck him up if he goes the wrong way. Oh, that's the best split I've ever had. Double into almost finding that guy immediately and getting the breaker boo. Mm. I'm attached. Mario. Mario. Mm. Oh, missed the cancel. Okay, get Boomerang on the way back. I think I'm gonna chase booze that go into lit rooms more, too. I think I'm really underestimating how much time I waste looking for the booze in these rooms. If it makes sense to go out and chase them. I'm gonna go chase them. Oh, still got it. Oh no. We got the double. Survive! Luigi, survive! Oh, I tried to get the red guy's, like, HP down. And I couldn't- I couldn't get that last one HP off for some reason. Did I get bonked? Nope, it didn't get bonked. And green guy's stalled now. That was just unfortunate. 
I don't know what I was like what my angle was doing there. Incorrectly. Definitely not as bad as it could have been though. Because I kept them both in the corner and did a substantial amount of damage to Green Boy. Or uh, yeah, Green Boy. Really good show guys. Okay, he was over here. I tapped it. I saw something move over there, but I... Where? Come on. He double tackled. I grabbed. Here. I didn't actually miss a pump there. Why did I miss a pump there? What happened? I missed like three. Inputs. It only really screwed me at the end, but... Dang. Alright, I hope he goes the other way. I gotta chase him. Finding stuff in here sucks. Here's the Van Gogh text. Hey, boy -o. Oh, did I miss count? Guess I did. He's not doing the corkscrew thing. You're was in there. He's definitely at top now, I think. <laughs> no, dude! He was going down, and I messed it up. Mario. Don't 
do it to me. Don't do it to me. Oh, there's something in my eye, too. Oh, you freaking... I had him. Mean booze, dude. Alright, if homeboy goes to the left out of the clockwork room, it's gonna be bad. I don't know. I never heard it move, so I'm gonna have to check this. Oh my goodness, he actually went the right way. I got him. One more. One more. The fake's in here. I know that. Alright, it's not green. But I think for the first time in forever I might actually save time on this split. Basement can go super right. God, the potential in that split is so high. Oh boy. Not me, no. No, get that thing away from me. Famous. I wouldn't say that, but yeah, that's me. I take it you saw the run. I hope you enjoyed it. Mario. Thank you for taking the time to show up. The internet knows no boundaries, so yeah, I guess so. I don't want to get more ice. I don't want to get more ice, but I think I'm going to have to get more ice. Oh boy. I'm being... Yep, there it is. At least I froze the thing. At least I froze the thing. It's fine. It's all I need. I'll catch this guy in a second. <sighs> oh, I loved it. It was so much fun. Like, the entire opportunity stressed me the heck out, but, like, I'd do it again. Oh, yeah. Alright, buddy. If ever you had a, ta a chance to not be a jerk, here it is. Don't you dare go that way. Stop. No. Could you... Ah! He just went straight out. That was a lot of cackles, dude. Get out of the room. Or don't get out of the room. I want him in the room. Okay, we're fine. Whew. That was my first time 
in any kind of event. I'd never done a single other marathon. Or like GDQ Hotfix or like Showcase. First time I'd ever submitted to anything. That was that was a whole lot of firsts. Ah, get out. Oh boy. Good. Got him stuck in the campfire that time. Something on the right. Get the key. No! No! Go outside that way. Go that way. Thank you. He got, he got, like, got close to me and started double cackling. I know exactly why it happened. Oh, I'm losing time here? Really? Ouch. Reset. Didn't reset. Okay. I'm out. Whew. My money is okay. I have a lot of gold bars. I do need the spire. Mario. <sighs> I got inspired to submit by people I watch and Mario. just people around the speedrunning community, even if they hadn't submitted. I finally felt comfortable doing so. For a variety of reasons, but honestly, as a like a self-confidence thing was a big part of it, and the fact that it was big event made it so much more fascinating that I got in. Oh, gotta get that guy! Oh, he got super stunned. But... What was I saying? Oh yeah, um, like I probably would have started submitting for other stuff if I hadn't got in. I didn't expect to get in first try, but I guess, because other people submitted for Luigi's Mansion, it blew my mind that, that it got taken, I got taken. Several people wanted to show off the, uh, the new tech. Don't hit the puppet. Okay, we're fine. Go fast, gotta go fast, gotta go fast. in the painting. Or it's something in the back here. Shake it. Goodness, it went in the table! Oh, it was never in the table. Where the frick is it, dude? Alrighty, here we go. Yeah, I was, um... I told it, like, the day before the marathon. When I got the email saying I got in, I was driving back home for the holidays and we'd stopped at Taco Bell. And I'd been driving all, all day. I completely forgot that I was supposed to be getting an email that day. 
So I'm just like dancing around in the parking lot screaming trying to get myself under control long enough to eat a taco. Specifically a gordita, if I recall. <laughs> and uh, they didn't think, like, they didn't think opening was something special that, like, said, you know, we, we believe in you or anything. I asked them, even though I think they might have withheld a lot of the reasons they scheduled things the way they did. Who knows why they picked Luigi first? It could have been me, could have been the game. Almost got broken off there. So we're not gonna see how good we're gonna be doing into a uh, final split based off of the PB here. Because I didn't hit it. But I am going to get to see the sum of best adding up to the best possible time here. Got them all! My pretty hair. Oh nice, I didn't drop any bombs. That's surprisingly hard to make them. I go that way, come this way. Yeah, they did specifically comment <laughs> that uh, they thought like my commentary was good. That split's a little wrong because I'm supposed to trigger the boo first. Nope. If they did specifically say they liked my commentary and I tried my butt off and it got even better from submission video to actual marathon. Move. I made my I made sure my like my tech check was like my T's were crossed and my I's were dotted and everything was spick and span so they didn't have to worry about tech issues on that first run. Still happen, they always happen. Come on, save quit. Nope. It's not gonna be sub 16. I'm calling it that it's not gonna be. If it's a slow three cycle, I don't think it's, um, I don't think it's good either. I think it's not a PB if it's a slow three cycle. I think I can two cycle or fast three. Money, I think I'm doing okay. I'm gonna get the gym. I got a couple bonus gold bars from the mouse. I'd like to see more than 400, but I'm gonna gamble with just the gym. I don't have to two cycle, but if I don't two cycle and have to go the th slow three cycle, I think there's going to be a problem. Like, people wishing me luck and people saying they believe always matters. It really does. If anything, like, people who have... For instance, there's a lot of examples. People who have been following for a year and never type. And then, like, when something good happens, they say, like, they give a thumbs up or type one little thing. Like, that means something because it was important enough to get the lurkers to not, lu to, to not lurk. Or when people show up and immediately start wishing luck and think it's the coolest thing ever. Like, that is different 
but still cool. Hey, Silver. Like, it, it all matters. not a good like end I had great pull at the start but uh, the the pumps at the end were not good this is tough but doable I did two cycle that food as well okay this is gonna be hard doesn't get any closer than that. Throw the ball! Time save for next run! Get in the vacuum! <laughs> it's still a PB! <laughs> Alright, I'm close enough that taking damage there at the end from the spike ball might matter. I think I am scraping by with 100% if I get it. At some point, I'm going to be able... I'm not... I'm gonna stop having the ability to PB with a 3 cycle, a slow 3 cycle. Because that's like 30 seconds that it loses compared to a 2 cycle. I don't know what else I could have done. Um... To catch him other than just overall doing better. Like, at the very end, I was not mid-pump to pull HP away, because I've done that before, where I let go of the button to do an extra pump and he goes away anyway. But I had the button down and he just ticked down to zero and didn't go in. He decided to leave right at the perfect moment. I don't think so. I just PB'd with a three cycle. Like, if everything else goes well, I'm usually, like, within two minutes of some of best by the start of area three. That's a whole much more than three, 30 seconds. I can definitely afford to lose so much time to King Boo if everything else goes well. I'm sweating it. It's not... I have so many pearls, but I don't think it... it I don't think it's gonna confidently be it. <sighs> okay, it's real. It's valid. <laughs> All those extra pearls. That's like three medium pearls. Saved me. <sighs> Two G's. And music. I gotta find the tweet. I found the tweet recently. Where is this? Where is this thing? I'm never gonna be able to find this. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to find it. Darn it. There is a, um... At the end, when Mario shoots out of the vent, 
uh, in true Nintendo fashion, he's just in a T pose behind the vent, ready to go. Um, except if if it was like the model as it is there, the head would be sticking out of the vent. So it's like they shrink it down to the size of like a P behind the vent. So it's the whole Mario body and his head is like this big. If you no clip through the vent and see it. I need to save that somewhere because I actually play the game where that piece of trivia matters. It's honestly weird in the final final boss when Bowser summons the spike balls. They like fade into existence and Nintendo is infamous for like making things grow to show up. Like they they start out really really tiny in the hand and they'll just like expand really quickly. Cause like when when you shoot the fireballs and stuff out of the vacuum. Oh yeah, the tiny toad. Yeah, exactly like that. Where it, like she pulls him out and she just like it just just retreats into a spore. But when you shoot the fireballs in this game, they start out small and you can see them grow for like two or three frames before they like get full size and start move up, moving away. Is that it? Dang, my Google foo is terrible. I couldn't find that. Oh, that's the toad one. Okay. <laughs> Tiny toad. I, I probably have it on my phone. I can hunt it up. Yes, I need to save this highlight, too. I just saved like six of them. So that I could upload stuff. PB and like crazy. And it's never by a million, so like, there's always a bunch of them in a row. The last one I had was really big, comparatively. But this one had the potential to be like 40 seconds. I did need the gem. Right call. Ah, uh, no, I'm not submitting to SGDQ. One, I would have to travel, and um, SGDQ's early this year. Is it in July? I've never been to a GDQ either, just to watch. Event in when marathons go on, like everything redirects to the main page on the GDQ GDQ website. <laughs> Heck is this? Fine, I'm typing in 2023. 2093. It's in June. It's like really, really early this year. May to June. Hmm. I want to get better at the game too, before like mainline GDQ. There's a lot of people in Luigi's Mansion Discord who probably would like to go. And uh, I wish them like the most luck because I was the first person to attempt. I think I was the first person to attempt Unless there was a really small marathon I didn't know about that didn't get brought up in the Discord. But I'm pretty sure there was not a marathon with Luigi's Mansion in it after the Chauncey One Cycle got found. So I was really trying to show it off for the first time. But there's I didn't do it, so there's st still a chance for somebody to do it properly all the way through. I think there's like a really good chance that whoever like tries to get Luigi's Mansion in soon, especially if they incorporate out of, incorporate out of bounds stuff in 100%, like 100% it's going to be cool to watch if that gets in again. But I really want to practice the the PAL version 
personally, I want to learn that route, and a lot of people don't run that one. It's even more niche than 100%, so I think that would be a cool thing for me to try. And at 25 subs, which is 9 away, no, 8 away now, um, I'm going to play that blindfolded. I don't even know if it's possible. <laughs> I did, I did, I did this. I did the American version blindfolded, and it was amazing. And hard. But, uh, at the cost of my sanity, I will do Bogmire blindfolded again. It'll probably be even worse. On PAL, somehow. But, that's gonna be a good old time. And I'm matching gift subs. I'm gonna go refill my water, and then I'll do another run that probably will PB again, because I was feeling really good about that run, and it was kinda not good. Thanks for watching. Be right back. Pal is cool. I haven't played it, so first blind stream of that whenever I can buy a copy.